Welcome everyone back to the channel. In this video today we have my simple easy to follow tutorial to show you how to make your own scripted endless waves in Men of War Assault Squad 2 gem editor which is quite a mouthful. Keep in mind though that this is for Assault Squad 2 and therefore it might not work with other Men of War gem editors. Ok right let's crack on with it. But just before, let me just plug in a quick thank you to all my subscribers out there who have remained with me while I have not been making videos, and of course to all you lovely new subscribers out there. You are good humans. Ok, now let's get on with it. Step 1 guys is we're going to have to load up a map. Here I've created a map in the desert at the moment. We can see in the background there's a bit of an American base there that we're going to want to attack with our endless waves. Next we have to save a mission onto the map because a mission allows us to add scripts which is going to be handy because we need those to create the waves. Step 2 is we're going to want to place some volunteers, some volunteers to actually be involved in our waves. So first of all I'm going to show you how to make endless waves worth of troops. So first let's select somebody to put down, we've got the Americans, let's put down some Germans and we're going to start off nice and simple and pop down for riflemen. Step 3 guys is tags. Tags are used to help identify an actor. In this case it's going to be these four riflemen here. We can give them all the same tag. There are two methods to be able to add tags. So what we want to do first is make sure all the units we want to be grouped are selected which you can confirm up here for humans. First method, press U, which should bring up this menu here. And then you can click on tags and bring up this menu. Or if you scroll down in the entity menu, tags is here at the bottom, click the three dots and it'll bring up the tag menu box. So there's two tags we're looking to put in here. First tag we want to put in there is how we're going to describe these four riflemen. Let's keep it simple and call them German Rifleman Squad 1. Remember guys to when you're naming your groups keep it descriptive and just make it easy for yourself in the long run. The second tag we're going to want to add onto here is Hidden. Hidden basically allows the troops to literally be hidden from sight when you press start the actors themselves will just disappear. Let me just show you. We'll just save and press start. This is helpful because if they disappear they can't be shot because if they're shot and killed then the scripting won't work. To help show that we've done the tags correctly you can show which tags have been applied to the actors. If you press Alt and T it'll bring it up and there we can see on each soldier they have both tags applied. Step 4 is waypoints. Waypoints can be found here with this flag icon or pressing 4 on your keyboard. Waypoints are basically used as points on the battlefield that the soldiers will follow as they spawn on the battlefield and we will make sure that they can advance towards the enemy at the top there, the American base. So it comes up here with groups. And we're going to want to add a new group. I'm going to call it German Rifleman Squad 1. I spelled squad wrong, but we'll go with it. So now we've got a group, we can start adding some waypoints. We want to click the add button and also make sure the auto link is clicked here. This will help to, well, save a lot of time in the long run. So the very first waypoint you're going to place, you want to make sure it's going to be where your soldiers will spawn. So we want to make sure it's at the edge of the map, but we don't want to make, we want to make sure it's not off the map completely or they might not spawn correctly. So we're going to spawn them there. That should be enough room for the amount of soldiers we have to spawn from. We want to take notes of this first waypoint number, the little blue digit there, which is zero because we're going to need that for scripting later. Select the first waypoint and because we've got auto link on when we click down another waypoint a yellow arrow automatically links the two waypoints together and you can see the arrow there showing you 
which way the waypoints are moving. Let's make this slightly interesting and make multiple options for these soldiers to spawn from. So basically when they spawn at waypoint 0 they will follow it to 1 and then they can either follow it to 2, follow it left to 5 to 6 or follow it from to 3 to 4. Step 5 is triggers and triggers are found here. Number 6 and we're going to right click in this box and add a new trigger. We're going to call it Endless Wave of German Riflemen. I'm not going to put squad because I can't spell it. So we're going to select there on triggers and we've got a condition and the command. We don't need a condition in this regard because we just want it to happen straight away. We don't want there to be a condition for it to actually begin. So we can leave that blank. And we're going to come down to the commands. The first command we want to do is so we're going to right click add. And we're going to go to this delay button here. And we're just going to leave the time as zero. Add a new command. And we're going to go for actor state. As the name suggests, we can change the state of our lovely four actors right here. And we're going to do that by changing the selector and going to tag. And this is how tags are nice and powerful because we can now just select all four riflemen in one go. So we've selected those four. There's lots of cool looking options on here, but we're just going to focus on a couple for this tutorial. We're going to make sure weapon prepare is on, which means that when they spawn, or when you spawn any soldiers, if they didn't have their weapon out, when you spawn them on the battlefield, then when they spawn, they will get out and prepare and be ready to fight. And the next one is we're going to go for speed. Speed, you can have somebody walk towards the enemy and stuff like that, but we're going to go for assault, so they're head down and charging. That's that. Done. Next command is a loop command. Loop command is found in generic and loop. And then loop, you can change how many times we're going to want this script to loop. So let's go for something reasonable and go with as many of those letters do. So that's endless. If you put five, that means you can have five ways of troops. Next, we're going to right click on the loop command and click on add inside. We have to make sure we add inside the command because anything inside the loop command is what commands it will loop. So the first command to loop is the waypoint command. Who is going to be our actors? And we're going to make them select in the same way by choosing the German rifleman squad tag. And this is where we had to remember the first waypoint we put down in the waypoint button we're going to put zero this is where they're going to spawn from we're going to make sure the clone button is checked this means that every time the wave starts a new set of these actors is cloned ready to go we're going to make the squad and we're going to make them approach down here we're going to make sure we go for safe teleport and rotate I'll show you why teleport and rotate doesn't quite work out in bigger battles a bit later on. So let's select safe teleport and rotate. This approach button just basically means that even if you spawned your soldiers here in the middle of the battlefield, putting safe teleport and rotate means when the start button is pressed, they will teleport to your first waypoint here, which was zero, and start their wave from the waypoint instead of the middle of the battlefield. So click OK. And finally, we want to go on the loop command and add inside again. And we're going to go back to our delay command. And this delay command is basically going to let us choose how long we want between the waves. We're going to choose five for now because I don't want to hang around. And just like that, that should be it. That should be all the scripting done. So what we're going to want to do is drop a save and then click start to the bottom. So the first wave has instantly teleported from the waypoint zero and look at that every five seconds we're spawning another four troops and we can see they're also choosing different paths to run from 
and because of that actor state they are also assaulting so they are running at speed so that was easy enough so let's move on to how this works with the vehicles so moving on to our tanks we're going to want endless waves of tanks as well to make this battle a bit more interesting so what I've spawned is a Panzer 1 and a Panzer 2 here as well as some tank crew to go in them so first of all we want to mount up the tank crews and then we've got to follow the same process that we did with the soldiers so first of all we have to give these vehicles a tag so you want to make sure we select both tanks because I'm going to want both tanks to spawn in the same spot and at the same time so we want to make sure both tanks are selected so I'm going to press U and I'm going to add them a tag make the tag descriptive Panzer 1 Panzer 2 and that's the one or I'm going to call it because that's what they are and we're also going to want to add the hidden tag and we can see from the green writing both tags have been applied then the next step is we've got to give them their waypoints as well so we click back onto the flag icon and this is where groups come in handy if we click on the German rifleman group we can see where their waypoints are and we don't really want to get in the way of the rifleman let's add a new group Panzer 1 Panzer tool. okay so where do we want these guys to go let's add some waypoints let's spawn them at the back of the battlefield select our first waypoint remembering this number number seven because we're going to need it for the tank scripting and let's advance them up the battlefield and we're also going to give them a couple of options as well we can then click on the German rifleman uh, it kind of gets in the way so if we select and hold right, we can move these out of the way a bit. That's the waypoints done. So now we're going to move on to the triggers for these two tanks. And this time we can make the process slightly quicker because we've already made a similar script here. So let's select the soldier trigger and copy it. Just change the name. Panzer 1, Panzer 2. And down here we've just got to make sure the commands are changed to be relevant to our new squad. So the selector this time, we're going to select the tag Panzer 1 and Panzer 2. And we're going to change this speed. But because this is a vehicle, we can set the speed in kilometers an hour. Let's set it at 15. And so they advance at a similar speed to the infantry. Let's make sure they're capped at 15. And then the second thing we're going to need to change is the waypoint. We're going to change the tag to the two tanks and we're also going to change the waypoint number. Their waypoint started with 7. Click OK. Then we're going to drop down a save just before we start. And there we have it, the two tanks have spawned at their waypoint 7 or advancing up the battlefield. Okay guys, now we're moving on to half track and this Kubelwagen. This works exactly the same with trucks or any sort of vehicle where you can put lots of soldiers in. All we have to do is exactly the same and get all our soldiers to mount up. We select them both. We give them both a tag, half track and car. And the hidden tag. We give them their own waypoint group. We lay in some waypoints, remembering number 14. Now it's time to move on to the triggers. On to triggers again. And to save ourselves time, we're going to copy a trigger already made. But this time we're going to copy the one with the Panzer 1 and Panzer 2. Because this has been made for a vehicle. Because we have all already changed the speed from assault to now kilometers an hour. Right click and copy. New name. To the bottom, changing the selector, changing the waypoint, and the selector tag, dropping a save, and let's see. And there you go. Simple. As soon as you've done it once, it just becomes easier and quicker and quicker to do. And then in no time, once you set up the first 
script and then you're copying it, you've got yourself a host of vehicles and soldiers being spawned. Also remember you can turn off the green writing pressing Alt and T and also remove that hood pressing Control, left shift, Alt and D so you can enjoy your battles to the full potential. Remember guys when I said that the approach had to be safe teleport, let me show you what happens when you just put it as teleport. As you can see they just spawn inside each other and of course this is going to become a bit of an issue when more waves start to spawn on top of each other and you end up having them stack on each other and creating a bit of a mess. Okay guys that is it for this endless wave tutorial. If you want to see any more videos then please let me know, put your uh, comment down and give me some ideas and I'll hopefully try and run through them for you. Okay guys thanks for the view, subscribe if you want to see more content like this and I'll be seeing you in the next one. Identify these four, going to identify these three, <laughs> three, there's four of them, clearly there's four of them. Step five is triggers, well open, well open.